Welcome to HealthCast, a production from Lexington Medical Center that focuses on the latest procedures, treatments, and the people behind the exceptional care we provide to patients. No patient wants to hear the words, you have a brain tumor, and that is why we are exploring the use of Gamma Tile. It is a newly FDA approved device that goes in the brain right after the removal of a malignant tumor. It is now being offered here by a team of Lexington Medical Center doctors who are part of the hospital's brain tumor program. Dr. Jonathan Ng, a neurosurgeon with Lexington Brain and Spine Institute, is one of the physicians performing gamma tile therapy. Gamma tile is a form of brachytherapy, and brachytherapy is implantable radiation therapy. So when people think about radiation therapy, usually they're thinking external beam, an external source, or some sort of radiation source that's given to them, which is by far more common. But brachytherapy has certain advantages. Gamma tile is a specific type of surgically implantable radiation through these very focused and very precise sources that can be implanted at the end of brain surgery after certain operations. After removal of the malignant brain tumor, the surgeon immediately places the gamma tiles in the tumor site. Each gamma tile has bioresorbable collagen in it, and embedded inside that collagen are four cesium seeds of radiation. These uh, collagen wafers are designed specifically so the radiation dose stays extremely close to where it's placed. And so that keeps it from having a meaningful dose to the tissues that need to heal outside of the brain. When using Gamma Tile, Dr. Ng works in conjunction with other physician specialists under what is called the Brain Tumor Program at Lexington Medical Center. So the Brain Tumor Program here is a multidisciplinary group of physicians who have a specific interest and expertise in brain tumors and brain tumor treatment, whether it be surgery, medication, radiation, going to sleep for surgery, or hospital recovery. One of those physicians is Dr. Quillen Davis, a radiation oncologist. He says for certain groups of patients, gamma tile is an advantageous way to deliver radiation. The gamma tile at this time is used often in patients that have already received other treatments prior to that, such as conventional radiation treatment and or previous resections and radiosurgery. And that's why in that group of patients that this is a favorable approach uh, to delivering radiation. It takes about five minutes to place the gamma tiles in the brain. Being able to put the radiation source directly where the tumor was is significant to treatment. The gamma tiles deliver 50% of the therapeutic dose within the first 10 days. This fast dosing helps keep any remaining tumor cells from duplicating. If you look at the data in the use of gamma tile that even in recurrent cases that there's an 80 percent or better chance of local control with with the, the use of this technique eventually the patient's body absorbs the tiles only the small titanium sources stay in the body but they become inactive and are harmless in addition while the radiation is active it is not harmful to others around you you're not toxic uh, you're able to go home to your family. Uh, you don't have to worry about this having effects on other people. Now I'm very proud that here at Lexington that we've been able to put that together for the people of the Midlands to have the gamma tile available because we're one of the few, frankly, in the Southeast at which the, this procedure can be done. And so it's a real resource for us to have that right here in our own community. Our lung cancer patients, our breast cancer patients, our kidney patients, our melanoma patients, and those are the big four that go to the brain, are all living considerably longer with breakthroughs in immunotherapy and targeted therapy than they were 10 or 15 years ago. And that increases the likelihood that you are gonna to have to deal with a brain metastasis. And if that happens, you wanna have a multidisciplinary approach to deal with it. Gamma Tile is considered a one and done complete therapy, allowing patients to go about their lives. And since gamma tile confines radiation to the area of concern and protects the rest of the brain, it limits side effects. The important thing uh, to remember about the gamma tile and about the treatment for brain tumors in general is that there's, there's great success both in the present and on the horizon for patients with these difficult to treat tumors. And so we always have to maintain hope and work hard as hard as we can uh, to get the very best results for these patients. 
It's no wonder U.S. News & World Report named Lexington Medical Center as the best hospital in the Columbia metro area for the third consecutive year. As an accredited cancer center of excellence, Lexington Medical Center continues to provide world-class care right here at home. To learn more about the advanced treatments performed at Lexington Medical Cancer Center, please visit lexmed.com cancer. And be sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notified of future stories in the HealthCast series.